So we all, we all know the rules, right? So uh, when I was 25, I got a, uh, a letter in the mail. Thank you for accepting our scholarship, our full scholarship to college for four years, and we'd like to meet with you before we chime. So I took a three-hour drive through Pennsylvania to the small liberal arts college, and I met with some ladies who were very politically correct, but had fine china nonetheless. <laughs> they sat there and they told me, they were being very polite, it was sort of an unofficial, official conversation, the kind you have at work all the time, but you think it's unofficial, but it's really official. <laughs> so they said, you, being from the inner city of Philadelphia, might feel uncomfortable here for the first couple of years because you're older <laughs> and you're um, not uh, affluent and uh, white. <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, but uh, my, inner dialogue, my inner dialogue was like, you know, my parents are white, I'm adopted. <laughs> they're honkies, they're round eyes. <laughs> I'm used to all this, sans the BMWs and Jaguars that the freshmen are trying. So um, I was thinking, you know, the whole time they were telling me, you know, you got to get acclimated. I was thinking, well, what's the social life going to be? And they said, well, you know, it's going to be about 89% Greek, and there's a lot of sorority parties and fraternity parties. And I was thinking, yes, finally, I'm going to make this happen. So I go to college there. And it, it's a quiet little place and very liberal artsy, you know what I mean? But it's not liberal artsy like Oberlin, where people don't want jobs out of it. They, <laughs> these kids want to be middle management. They want to have nice things. It's not one of those colleges. So uh, I'm walking around campus, and all the, all the women are very beautiful. They all tear their ACLs in the spring from jogging. <laughs> So uh, I, I go to a couple parties, I try to warm up, to, they're, they're a lot younger than me, they're like, you know, six years younger than me, and I try to warm up and uh, go to a party, and I, I see a young lady, of course, and uh, she is the reigning sorority queen. I don't think I can, I, I'll say her name is Amy, I can't tell your last name. And uh, she's the type of girl who woke up and got to romantic poetry class, I mean, bling bling, she was knocked out, dressed, heels, and I was in, you know, most people were in sweatpants, but there was Amy. Pearls, earrings, decked out. Of course, I was, I was thinking, oh, I have no chance with Amy. So, I got to do something. I got to show up. <laughs> I couldn't compete. I couldn't, I couldn't play tennis. I couldn't play lacrosse. I wasn't a fraternity guy. So, I, uh, I did, I, I, so what I do, I, I stalk her for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't hard to stalk Amy because she was always at the see you, see me seats in the library. When you walk in the library, there's these set of chairs that there's no real table there. You can't really study there. There's always like six or seven very attractive people just sitting there. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is good. She want, she's, uh, I think in the animal kingdom, they call it presenting. <laughs> like, I watch Micho Mama, huh? This is good. So uh, I tried to talk to her in front of her friends. And that sort of was like a scene on a Clueless. They were sort of like, oh, my God, as if. <laughs> You're not Blair. And I was like, no, 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 I just wanted to say hi to Amy. She went to the Ma Dress Like Madonna party, and I was there, and they were just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> so I, I had to regroup. So uh, Friday night rolls around, nothing to do, of course. I'm an older gentleman on campus. No cell phones around yet, no real computer internet action. So I, uh, I begin to make bread. <laughs> Still bread. And the next day, Saturday, I knew about two o'clock when everybody's hangover, uh, hungover wore off, I, I would go up to the see you see me seats. And I knew I would find Amy there. And I found her there with all her sorority friends and I said, Amy, could I sit with you outside on the on the lawn, outside the library? And she just went, oh. And her friends sort of just they just ignored me this time. They didn't make any noises. So, Amy, I said, uh, I just want to chat with you outside. And 
I have a sandwich for you. And she said, what kind of sandwich is it? I said, it's an avocado sandwich on dill bread that I made with Dijonese, fresh basil, feta cheese, tomato, and cucumber. And she went outside and had lunch with me. Thank you.